Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 20th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to Morning Dew's third birthday. That's right, March 20th, 2017 was my first updated video. We're going to start out here. I want to thank everybody, first of all, for almost 10,000 family members. Start out here looking at our sun as we had active sunspot as of a few moments ago, we were looking at this sunspot region that was coming in and it was active on the backside and it has become active again, sending out a CME right here, coronal mass ejection from the sun. You can see in the last few images, so we're still waiting for more to come in. Looking here at 304 angstroms, you can see where the two fields met and coronal mass ejection and then just recently we had a 4.5 earthquake in Utah or sorry Nevada Indian Hills Nevada 4.5 5.7 was in Utah yesterday or two days ago but it's still been pretty active today especially in Oklahoma as well 2.6 couple 2.6s in Texas 2.6 there in Utah Magna again 5.1 here, Kodiak, Alaska. And I pointed out these earthquakes last night in my live stream, a 5.5. And then just recently as well, a 5.7 earthquake in Greece. Paramythia, 5.7 at a 10 kilometer depth. And south of Africa as well, rocking a 5.2 on the Antarctic plate and South African plate. Also looking here, beside the Arabia plate, 4.8, the fracture zone, Owen fracture zone. Deepest earthquake, the last 24 hours, just reported a 4.6 at a 519 kilometer depth, Nidoi Island, Fiji. 4.8 as well there, Ecuador. Earthquake swarm continues, Dominican Republic. Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes as North American plate has been very, very busy, as well as the Eurasia plate, Africa plate, as of late. Very busy map here for the last seven days. Most of the action being West Side Ring of Fire and San Andreas and North American Plate into the Cascadia subduction zone. Let's look here at the Pacific Disaster Center disaster alert app, which everybody can download and you can stay aware and prepare yourselves. Looking here, 5.7 Paramythia, Greece, just reported. Let's just get an update on the most recent volcanoes. The last few hours that have been updated. We're looking at ERA in Japan. A lot of flood alerts across the United States. Reventador in Ecuador. Nevada de Chilean. Popo, Asosan, Sabancaya. Senge in Ecuador, as well Menam, Papua New Guinea. That's a new one that popped off 22 hours ago. So that's about nine volcanoes that just got updated in the past four hours, actively erupting. I guess I'm going to have to work on a volcanic activity report because there's quite a bit of action going on right now around the world. Overlooking United States, watching extreme weather still can play out day by day especially now that the warmer days are starting to move in and the Gulf of Mexico is starting to warm up. But we've still got flood alerts from North Dakota all the way down to Texas and straight east, straight up the southeastern seaboard, even throughout New York City, Newark, Newark, New Jersey. We've got extreme heat already in Mexico 
Watch for a surprise tropical storm here in the Gulf of Mexico in the coming week. Keep your eyes open. Stay aware and prepared. And I hope everybody is prepared for a possible lockdown. Now, everybody's been talking about two weeks of food. I'd like to say everybody get at least three months of food. Three months of food, water, and supplies. Because we might be in it for the long haul coming up here soon. We've got extreme weather as well. Across the rainforests in South America. Heavier rains and more severe weather through Brazil and Paraguay. And as well, Bolivia. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Starting here, home base, Calgary, Alberta. Seasonal temperatures over the next few days. But watching snow move in later next week, midweek. Probably about five centimeters of snow. Nothing too serious, but there is still a cold high-pressure ridge coming in behind that. So... The winter temperatures aren't quite done with us just yet, even knowing we are on spring. By the way, happy spring, and as well, happy birthday to Morning Dew. Three years running straight, keeping you updated with daily videos. So we're going to watch as Alberta Clipper moves north into the Hudson Bay later in the week. And then the Pacific Low is going to carry on into the Atlantic heading straight towards Greenland and then Iceland. Across Europe, Central Europe, watch for heavy snow, higher elevations, heavy rain across Spain as that low pressure in the Mediterranean develops. And then watch for another one later in the week to develop here. Across Russia, three low pressure systems to talk about. Mostly snow and seasonable temperatures. Southeast Asia and Pakistan and India, dry. Philippines, dry. And across Papua New Guinea, watch for pop up thunderstorms. Later in the week, watch for a low to develop in Northern Territory, Australia. And we'll see how our planet reacts to a global shutdown where we've got, we don't have billions of cars driving around all over the planet or planes creating our own jet streams on the topography of our planet. This could change. I, I don't know. I was just thinking, but uh, it's definitely going to be interesting. Watch for heavier rains across west coast of Africa and central into Lake Malawi and Lake Victoria. Across South America, watch for daily evaporation rains. As I was talking about earlier, watch for heavier amounts. Brazil, Paraguay, Bolivia. Have a look at this strong high pressure ridge. It's been hanging out in the Atlantic Ocean for God knows how long. Same thing happening in the Pacific Ocean. It's gonna leave you here looking at the Northern Hemisphere versus the Southern Hemisphere. Thank you all for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Don't forget to smash that like button. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. God bless humanity. Bye bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.